This is Wanderer, which is a 60 foot by 11 foot wide, uh, wide beam canal boat. It's just under two years old. It's second birthday is in this April and it's cruiser stern, reverse layout and incredibly highly equipped as well. Starting from the bow, because this is a reverse layout wide beam, you have the bedroom, which is a very good and decent size, king size double as you can see. There are some drawers either side of that and also at the back end of it. Dressing table in this corner and also a second dressing table in the opposite corner which you will see in a minute. The radiator there is a ceramic storage radiator. They use it, uh, plug it in in winter in the marina uh, on a frost setting, which saves having to drain all the systems down. Substantial wardrobe space at one end here. And then next to that you have this neat little ensuite washroom with a pump out and a basin as well and mirror. And an extractor fan as you may be able to hear in the background too. Down the corridor, we've just passed a cupboard on the left, you have this large shower room. There's a countertop basin there mounted on a granite worktop. It's a shelving in the corner for storage of towels and so forth. A circular shower cubicle with thermostatic mixers and a, a clear screen door. Open thus. large towel rail there. That's run by the central heating system which is a, a powerful diesel fired unit and um, runs through what are known as fin rads at skirting level. You can just catch sight of them down there running along the sides, both sides of the boat. On into the galley area we've got floor to ceiling bottle rack there Once again, granite worktops, oven, grill, next door to that a slimline dishwasher. It's all covered next to that. Plenty of drawers. And then you have these cupboards behind you in which you have a espresso machine, there's also a bread maker, a toaster and all this equipment comes with the boat. Uh, integrated below is a fridge, next door to that a freezer. And next to that is a washer, dryer, a Bosch machine. Larder cupboard here and further storage above for well, kitchen towels, as you can see in this case, whatever you fancy really. Uh, second ceramic uh, storage radiator for keeping the boat dry in winter. And then the large open plan saloon area. A solid fuel stove built in there. You have a drop leaf dining table there.
large Sony flat screen television as well. There's also a DVD unit uh, and a self-seeking motorised satellite dish mounted on the cabin top as well. The sofa you see there actually converts into a king-size double and has an interior sprung mattress as well. And here in the cupboard is the Victron 3 kilowatt inverter and 140 amp battery charger combi. Uh, there's also a 5 kilowatt built-in diesel fired gen set built into this boat as well. So it's very capable of being independent of the uh, mains electricity. So certainly you need to plug into a hookup somewhere. Stepping up, and we come on to the cruiser stern. This has a folding pram hood cover over it at the moment. It gives you additional dry storage. It's a very sociable space if you choose to go out cruising. There's a barbecue there that uh, is also included. And here is the engine that lies beneath the decks. It's a 70 horsepower Barris Shire, which is, is based on a Japanese Yanmar unit. Um, for a brochure, a photograph, gallery and a layout plan, please do go to rugbyboats.co.uk.